One nine, Mike Sager, thank you. The airport set your nine to ten o'clock and two point four. So you're looking really good for that left base. Again, the bases are reported at three hundred. You didn't give me those records because I, I can't see a thing up here. New York departure, November one nine, Mike Tango. I don't know one. One nine, Mike Tango, New York. Just confirm you're on a three six zero heading, climbing to eight thousand. Leaving three thousand seven hundred for eight thousand. Yeah, three six zero heading. Eighty seven, proceed direct Newell. Direct Newell, Chapel twenty one eighty seven. One nine, Mike Tango, traffic two o'clock and four miles southwest bound in E one ninety at four thousand. You can for now, but I have to climb you to eight along this route. So if you want to level off at six for a minute to accelerate or do something, that's fine. But I am going to keep you climbing to eight in about 10 to 15 miles. All right. Um, I just, we're not getting the performance we're expecting, and I'm not certain why. Roger, are you unable 8,000? I can get you an alternate route up over Huguenot, probably, that'll keep you down low. Awesome. Niner Mike Tango, Roger. And uh, you think you might have an issue, or is it just uh, you're not sure what's going on? I don't see anything on the instrumentation at all, except for lack of uh, vertical. Number one nine, Mike Tango, the Westchester County Airport's right off your right wing. If you want to land and check it out. Near departure. Uh, we have figured out the problem. I've got a dead cylinder, uh, so we would like to go to Westchester, and I'll take vectors for that. Nine, Mike Tango. Nine, Mike Tango, you're clear to the Westchester County Airport via radar vectors. Turn right, heading. Three four zero and maintain five thousand. Right three four zero, uh, maintain five thousand. One nine Mike Tango. One nine Mike Tango. They are landing runway one six, so you can start planning the ILS runway one six. It's gonna take me a minute to get things changed around here. It's all good. Take your time. One nine Mike Tango. Are you declaring an emergency? Not at this time. Roger. Just to verify uh, that uh, Hotel Papa November, 19 Tango. 19 Mike Tango, affirmative. Hotel Papa November, and they're using the ILS for runway 16. All right, use ILS 16. 19 Mike Tango, when you can, make a right turn heading 340. Looks like I see you doing it now. I am declaring an emergency. Our oil pressure is dropping. One nine, Mike Tango. One nine, Mike Tango. It looks like you're on a uh, hard right turn to the southeast. So I just want you to fly wings level and maintain five thousand. Can you do that? Wings level five thousand. Level one nine, Mike Tango. I don't care what heading. Just fly wings level at five thousand. Number one nine, Mike Tango. So what heading do you show yourself on now? Uh, I am on a zero nine zero heading, and we are going to declare emergency. We are losing oil pressure. One nine, Mike Tango, Roger. Can you turn left heading 070, vectors ILS 16? 070 for the ILS 16. One nine, Mike Tango, understand you're losing oil pressure? Yes, we are losing oil pressure. This is an emergency. One nine, Mike Tango. One nine, Mike Tango, Roger. I'm vectoring you right overhead the Westchester County Airport now, so I'm going to put you on a left downwind for runway 16. Okay, vectoring me for a left downwind for runway 16. One nine, Mike Tango. 1599, turn left heading 310. 310 heading American 1599. Mer uh, number 19 Mike Tango, turn left heading 360. Left turn 360, 19er Mike Tango. 19 Mike Tango heading 360 and maintain 3000. Down to 3000, 19 Mike Tango. Number 19 Mike Tango, the bases at Westchester are reported at 300 feet. Uh, I flew that ILS uh, a couple weeks ago, um, so we'll try for it. Okay, but do you want do you want to fly the, the ILS or do you want to 
I'm not sure. Do you have engine power right now? Are you able to maintain altitude? No, the engine is over right now. American 1581, turn left, heading 310. I'll turn 310, American 1581. Southwest 1599, go direct parks, contact departure 12085. That for American. Mayday, 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 mayday. Number 19, Mike Tango, understand the airport's just behind you now. You want to start a left turn if you can. I'm seeing a right turn. American 1581, heading 290. 290, American 1581. At center, was that for American 1599 to uh, direct park in 2085? American 1599, all correct, 12085, direct park. All right, good luck. Thank you. Number 19, Mike Tango, the airport is now at your 8 o'clock and 5 miles. 19, Mike Tango, heading would be a 220, direct to the runway. 220, heading direct to the runway. American 1581, go direct Biggie, contact departure 12085. Biggie 12085, American 1581, good luck. Number 19, Mike Tango, the airport's now at your 11 to 10 o'clock and 3 miles. 11 to 10 o'clock, 3 miles. The airport's now 12 o'clock and just under 3 miles now. Number 19, Mike Tango, you're set up perfectly for a left base runway 16, 11 o'clock and just under 2 miles. Number 19, Mike Tango, you look beautiful for the uh, left base for runway 16. Airport touch at 10 o'clock and 2.7 miles. I've got 2,300 feet of altitude. Understood, yes. One nine, Mike Tango, thank you. The airport's at your 9 to 10 o'clock and 2.4, so you're looking really good for that left base. Again, the bases are reported at 300. You just give me those records because I, I can't see a thing up here. I understand. You want to turn back to the right now. That left turn you just did there, you want to turn back to the right, heading 2-2, two, two, maybe a 2-30, heading to set you up for the final. Winds are 1-1-0 one, one, at 7. One nine, Mike Tango, you are clear to land, runway 16. At the uh, runway is at your 10 o'clock at 1.7 miles, turn left, heading 160. One nine, Mike Tango, heading 160 for the runway. Number 19, Mike Tango, I'm showing the runway off your left wing, 1.7 miles. In 900 feet indicated, just make sure you, uh, you'll you break out at 300, you should see the lights. And one, one nine, Mike Tango, the airport's now at your 10 to 11 o'clock and 1.6 miles. 10 to 11 o'clock, 1.6 One nine, Mike Tango, you just want to go slightly left and keep the shallow descent going. You should break out here shortly. 1-9, Mike Tango, you want to go more like a, a 150 to 140 heading to the runway. 1-9, Mike Tango, you want to correct back to the left now for the runway at your 10 o'clock. Radar contact lost. 1-9, Mike Tango, the runway's at your 10 o'clock in less than a mile. 1-9, Mike Tango, radar contact lost. 1-9, Mike Tango. Any words, Say again. Any words on that guy? Who's, who's on that frequency right now? You in the air? I don't have anything on the uh, the aircraft right now. Does anyone, if you're on frequency, do you hear any ELC? Investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board are now on scene of uh, that deadly plane crash in Westchester County. The single engine plane had just taken off from JFK last night en route for Cleveland, Ohio, when it suddenly went down near the Westchester County Airport. Both men on board were killed, and this afternoon we're learning that one of them was able to send a text to his family moments before the plane crashed. I want to see reporter Marcus Solis is near the crash scene with the very latest. Marcus. Liz, I love you and the kids was the text that was sent just seconds before that plane crashed into a heavily wooded area. And even after the crash, the phones of the pilot and the passenger played a crucial role. The FBI had to come in with special equipment to ping those phones to find out exactly where the plane was located. Mayday, 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 mayday. The distress call was issued just two minutes before the doomed small plane lost contact with air traffic control, plummeting into the uninhabited woods of Great Island. The crash killed two men headed home to Ohio and touched off a massive search by rescuers last night. The weather was just horrific. Um, at one point, the thunder and lightning 
uh, that was going on while those uh, emergency responders were out in the field. Um, it, it was treacherous. Pilot Baruch Taub and his passenger Ben Chaffetz departed from JFK around 5 p.m. Within minutes, Taub radioed something was wrong. We're not getting the performance we're expecting. The Beechcraft Bonanza A36 was cleared to make an emergency landing at Westchester County Airport. The pilot who told air traffic control he was losing oil pressure made it to within a mile and a half of the runway. One nine Mike Tango radar contact lost. Had he had a little more altitude and a little more time, he'd have made it safely to the runway. What the investigation will determine is what happened inside the plane. The bodies were returned to Ohio this morning. Funerals held this afternoon in accordance with Jewish custom. The victims were prominent members of the Orthodox community in the Cleveland area. The 40-year-old pilot owned an automotive transmission business. Chaffetz, 45, was the CEO of an e-commerce company, able to text his wife before the crash. I don't think any of us want to contemplate what it would be like to know that your life was about to end and you were going to speak to the people that you love the most and try to say something to them to summarize the life that you've had together. That is what last night was about.